I will have to check because I do not have this information. I can get back to you. We're deeply re alarmed at reports of a major military buildup and the increased threat to the population in the town of Yabrud, uh, which is an op opposition-held area in the Kalamun Mountains. According to reports we've received from within Syria, there have been numerous aerial attacks and shelling, um, along with a military buildup around the town, suggesting that a major assault by land may be imminent. Electricity was totally cut off on Wednesday. Field hospitals are suffering serious shortages in medicine and medical supplies, as scores of people, including civilians, reportedly continue to require urgent treatment. We understand that there, are, there remain a, a large number of civilians in Yabrud, with some estimates suggesting as many as 40,000 to 50,000 people, uh, with thousands of others fleeing over the past few days. The mission of yours was as an inter We remind the government of Syria of its obligation under international human rights and international humanitarian law to protect all persons who are not taking an active part in the hostilities, including civilians, member of armed forces who've laid down their arms, and those placed hors de combat by sickness, wounds, detention, or any other cause. Effective warning is required by international humanitarian law to give civilians an opportunity to leave areas that will come under attack. You outlined a very ambitious... Um We're deeply concerned that the attack on Yabrud, if it takes place, may follow the pattern of previous attacks on cities and towns across Syria, where government aerial bombardment was indiscriminate and disproportionate in violation of obligations under international law, and the ensuing land incursions have resulted in heavy civilian casualties. In fact, nobody has gotten any money. So, uh, what realistically are you able to... If the state does not take all ne necessary precautions to ensure the safety of civilians, it risks committing grave violations of international humanitarian law. The children who are being killed, injured... The High Commissioner this week renewed her call to the Security Council to refer the situation in Syria to the International Criminal Court. She warned that civilians have paid and are continuing to pay the price for lack of consensus on Syria and the resulting inaction. Violations are continuing in full sight of the international community. 